it'll be bittersweet. I love Charleston. I love the people. They've been very, uh, really good to me and very supportive of my, my, uh, my art and my acting. So yeah, it'll be, it'll be tough. I've been here. I'm really comfortable here, and I, like I said, I love the people. So I will definitely miss it. When I was in New York for this um, earlier this summer to check check it out and decide if I definitely wanted to move. Um, I went into I went into a bunch of galleries, but the first one I decided to um, you know I was a little intimidated and I just decided that people are people everywhere. So it's like I'm just going to talk to them the way I talk to people in Charleston. So I just went up to the uh, you know the <coughs> ladies running the gallery and just asked them. I said, Hey, I'm an established artist in Charleston. Um, I know that doesn't mean anything here, but you know where should I start? And they were like they stopped what they were doing and they were calling their friends and like you know giving me names of galleries and areas where I can like find studio space and where I can show and that kind of thing so uh, you really I mean you can't be afraid Matisse said creativity takes courage and you have to you have to be able to talk to people you know if you want to be that that lonely hermit artist you know tortured artist that's fine but you, you know your, your work's gonna stay in your house and nobody's gonna see it this is uh, it's called the Peacemaker, and um, it's actually a character from a graphic novel that I'm writing called The Day the Peacemaker Made Peace. And um, I've decided to, after being in New York, I've decided to make him um, a character in a lot of my art. I love the South. Um, I definitely like Charleston. You know, Charleston just. Uh, it was something different, and I, I found the people that I felt I had been looking for my whole life, you know, the, the art scene. And When I went back to New York, um, after being in New York and I came back home, I started to realize um, that a lot of things that I loved about Charleston were actually things that reminded me of my childhood in New York. The graffiti and the more, you know, progressive scene. Um, so yeah, it was, you know, it'll be kind of like a homecoming. Probably move, you know, to Brooklyn. You know, it's close to the Bronx, but uh, let's, you know, more of where the art scene is and kind of work my way into Manhattan. <laughs>